Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now we've looked at laptops before, very cheap ones that have been pretty decent for the money and okay for some light gaming. The other day I was in the market for a suitable editing machine and didn't want to spend too much money but after looking around it seems as though getting a half decent laptop for less is way more challenging than it is with a desktop PC. So just like when shopping for desktops I decided used would be the best option and that still proved pretty challenging. Eventually I found this, a Lenovo Yoga 14 inch laptop with an i5 6200U, 8GB of DDR4 and a Radeon R5 M430. This is the perfect example of how laptops are overpriced as well as how much you can save if you shop around and decide to buy used. The retail price of this machine here in the UK is £599, about $750 or €710. Euros. I found this four month old one for just £300, which equals roughly $375 or €355. Euros. Aside from its i5 CPU and R5 GPU, it has a 1080p touchscreen as well as the ability to flip into a tablet, a novelty that will likely go unused. I actually quite like this thing but I built my G3258 and 750Ti system for less and that would blow this thing out of not only the water but the whole ocean. Without giving too much away though, let's see how this thing holds up with a few games. So we tested GTA 5 first with 1366x768 resolution and the low or normal settings as GTA calls them. We saw 36 on average which is a good start and turning down the resolution isn't too noticeable on this 14 inch screen but you do lose some detailed distance. I'd rather play at at least 30 FPS than below 25 at 1080p though so I'd say this wasn't bad. Next up something a little less demanding with CSGO. Here we stuck to the native 1080p resolution and saw around 44 frames per second with the settings turned way down. A game like this does benefit from at least 60 frames constant but if you're on the go with similar specs and you just have to play this game then you can do so fairly decently. Far Cry Primal now and again the resolution went back down to 1366 by 768 to achieve about 27 FPS. This was also on the low settings and did better than I expected by far. I could happily play the game like this but it's not exactly the best experience. Finally we put League of Legends to the test and the game was capped at 60 this time to see if our laptop could hold it there constantly. Even with the high graphical settings this was easily achievable and any less demanding games should run perfectly. But here's the problem. We tested an HP laptop a while back that shared similar results yet could be bought for about £200. I think companies wind up charging for gimmicks like a flip or touch screen or a fancy light up keyboard. I know that if you want to play even demanding titles on the go then you need to spend a lot more when it comes to mobile computing but my question is why? In an age where you can build a budget 1080p gaming machine for less than $300 or pounds or euros new why is it that all the laptops under a grand seem to be in the same barrel? when it comes to gaming performance. So guys, thank you so much for taking a look at this laptop with me and discussing whether or not you can buy a decent budget gaming laptop. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And as always, I hope to see all of you in the next video.